When I finally woke up, it was hazy, but the memories were still there. Dusty remnants of my life before the bombs floating through my head. They didn't seem real. My home in some untouched utopian neighborhood? Were we really that lucky? We hadn't been ravaged by poverty or stripped for war resources. Not yet, anyway. But it was probably just a matter of time. And that quirky vault tech guy with his funny yellow hat and trench coat. And that clipboard of his filled with local vaults. 81, 111. Buying into the vault seemed like the right thing to do at the time. It would protect Sean and Nora so they'd survive what was coming, I thought. Nora and I both expected the end to come soon. But what I didn't expect was that life in the vault would go so completely wrong. So I don't know. I'm just not so sure anymore. Before I could even think, I'd lost everything. And it's just now hitting me. Everyone I ever knew is gone. And this vault, this vault is just a vermin-infested tomb. I gotta get out of here if I'm gonna survive. Maybe on the surface, after all this time, I can make a new life for myself. I still remember some of my training. But one thing's for certain. If I don't try and do something, I'm as good as dead. So, I guess I better get going. Okay, welcome to the first episode. I hope you enjoyed that uh, atmospheric intro. I thought it would be a creative way of skipping the tutorial. I have all my mods configured, my characters ready to go. I'm going to try to stay immersed in the game world and play a little bit in-character role-playing style, but I'll try also not to make it too corny. I may on occasion stop to discuss uh, certain points about mods that I'm using or why I'm doing things a particular way, but other than that, um, I hope that uh, the commentary is enjoyable. So let's get started. Well, it's just a little after five in the morning. That place is dead. If I'm going to survive, I better start scooping up supplies, see what I can scrounge out here. I can sell those drugs, but I've never been a fan of drugs. Too easy to get addicted. I may use the Radix and the Radaway, but for the most part I'm going to be using food to survive. We will come back up and go down this road. Uh, it's a cool back way to get to Abernathy and pick up some more supplies, but for now I'm going to see what I can get from this little shack here. And then head down toward the old neighborhood. Desk van. Pre-war food. Pre-war food's irradiated. I better not eat too much of it or I'll end up like that guy. Prepare for the future, uh, vault -Tec. I wonder whatever happened to the vault -Tec salesman. You know, I don't see his yellow trench coat around here. I hope he made it. It was kind of a raw deal. You know, a loyal company man and they can't find space for him in the vault. It sucks. We're back in the old neighborhood. Man. Bombs sure did a number on this place. It's a wreck. Although I see some light over here. It looks like there may have been some survivors homesteading here. They kind of, they kind of set up camp. I thought I saw some movement in that house. Yeah, I do. That is a giant fly. Okay. So mutations are a thing. I don't see any survivors. Those flies are probably responsible. And Codsworth. Codsworth survived and kept the house in pristine condition. Imagine that. That's pretty cool. This will make a good place to stay then. Thank you, Codsworth. I will be back to talk to you in a minute, though. Um, we're not going to discuss things with him just yet. I want to sweep the neighborhood first. Make sure it's safe.
fruit flies. Got some meat. If I remember, this neighbor was a bit of a survivalist. I think he's got a bomb shelter that he built around the back of his house. We'll definitely have to check that out later. He might have some supplies. In the meantime, let's head over here. Got me, the little bastard. Well, I got maggoted and did some damage, but uh, no disease. That's good. Why does a bloat fly have an aluminum can? More meat? Good. Alright. I think the bloat flies are cleared out. Clear out the rad roaches and then we'll come back and talk with Codsworth. Actually, you know what? Let's talk with him now. Codsworth? As I live and breathe! Oh, it's. it's really you! Yeah, Codsworth. I can't believe you're still here, buddy. You survived. Codsworth, I hate to tell you, but she didn't make it. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Well, the same people who murdered Nora kidnapped him. I don't know where he is right now. Sure. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years, huh? Well, I feel fine, though. Uh, we actually slept in cryosleep through the whole 200 years. Doesn't. A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Yeah, snack would... Wait a second. I just told you Nora's dead and Sean's kidnapped and you're cracking jokes about dinner. I think you might have a fried circuit there, buddy. Are you okay? God. I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but... Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Uh, pull it together there, Codsworth. Stay with me, buddy. Stay. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Ah, oh, you have a hollow tape from Nora. Uh, 
It's a little too soon for me to listen to it, Codsworth, but thank you. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. I'm pretty sure they're not going to turn up, and uh, if you missed what I told you earlier, you've definitely got a fried circuit. But don't worry, uh, I've already cleared the place. Most of the bad things are gone. Cut. Then they're really gone, aren't they? No, sir. Don't worry, it's okay, Codsworth. I'll figure something out. Thanks. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well... The people there have only shot at me a few times. They've only shot at you a few times? That's uh, not very reassuring, Codsworth, but uh, thanks anyway. I may check that out. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I may have a work assignment for you uh, building this place up later, but I'll be back. We'll talk about that then. Well, the sun is coming up. It's a little easier to sneak while it's dark, so I'm going to try and clear the last little bit out of this area out. And then I'm going to check a nearby raider camp to see if there's any supplies there that I could use. Maybe you have one. And I leveled. That is why I don't take Cosworth with me. Alright, one of my early goals is to get into Vault 81 so I can unlock Kiri as a companion very early on. To get in there, I'm going to need plenty of charisma. So, I'm going to put a point in that. I'm going to go back to the house and get the book in a little bit. I'm going to put that point in charisma as well. That'll get me up to 8 and that should be enough to pass the check. I will on occasion use vats because ammo is going to be scarce in this game and it's one of the features I like from Fallout 1 and Fallout 3. But if I feel pretty strongly that I can make the shot, I'm going to take the shot. Alright, rad roach meat. I got plenty of that food. I'm going to go up here and loot this stuff and then go back to the house and pick up the... Uh, And these corpses do not despawn. So we're going to take care of that right now. Everything else, if you looted, it despawns. But those two corpses, no. They stay. So let's head back to the house. See what supplies I can whip up from a few nearby camps here. Nice. I'm just going to leave the kitchen light on for me. Open a couple doors. And here's the book. save here just in case I change my mind at some point. I don't think I'm going to though. But there we go. So now stat wise special stats. My charisma is up to 8. Everything else is based on my Fallout 3 stats and my perks are based on the character's pre-war story uh, being former military. He should have a little bit of knowledge about armor, blacksmithing, gun nuts, uh, a little bit of leadership and a little bit of science. That's my character. So, yeah, turn the kitchen light off. All right, so. Let's 
Let's cook up. Our food. Fun tip, in addition to this uh, cooking station in Sanctuary, there's a chem station behind that, uh, I think it's that yellow house. It's one of these yellow houses. I think it's that one. But you can grab them all and bring them up to where the uh, main workbench is and place them there. And kind of have a good start and spot right by the yellow hammer house there. The workshop house, so... a couple settlements and places over there that we'll explore later, but while it's dark, I want to head this way. There's a dog, a deer, some mole rats, and some raiders, and we can pick up a lot of meat early on. There's the dog. For those who may have noticed, this 10mm pistol is different. It's a classic Colt 6520 mod on the Nexus. I didn't surprise that one. I must have missed the first shot. But it's modeled after the... Uh, it's modeled after the Fallout... Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, 10mm pistol. It's a really nice mod. And I'll take a Nuka. That's cool. somewhere. Follow this pipe. Huh. A cap's stash? What is that for? some chems up here and some purified water excellent there's one of those little boogers Trying to flank me, going way the hell down there. Yeah, he got too far away, de aggroed. I know there's like three or four of them over here, too. I 
I don't like not knowing where they are because they're ambush killers. They will jump up from the ground and get you. Where is it? There he is. His buddies have been alerted. Yep, there's one of them. Ah, he bit me. I think he might have got me. No, he didn't. I'll take the meat. That's three. There's usually at least four over here. I wonder if one of them might have gone down to that raider camp and got killed by the dog or the raiders. That happens every now and then. We are going to see what we can see. Oh yeah, there's a dog and two raiders. All right, three raiders. All right, dog first. Raider. Don't really need the gas mask. The Raider armor is garbage. It's like really heavy for what you get. It's not worth carrying. Leathers. I was kind of hoping for some. I was kind of hoping for some leather armor. There's uh. There was one here. There was one there. The dog was over here somewhere. The upside to fighting in the dark is it's harder for them to spot you. The downside is it's harder for you to spot the loot. There's some leather armor, gas mask, pipe pistol, dog meat. All right. That's not bad. I did not get any leather armor, though. That kind of sucks. Just kind of hoping to gear up a little bit, but we'll have to make do with what we got. All right. And there's one more little camp up here near a map marker that I want to get. Oh, I must have got her. I don't know how that Molotov didn't nail me, unless I got her before it impacted. Raider, leathers... And where's the dog? Either that Molotov hit low and I got lucky, or I shot it or shot her. Don't know why I survived. I should have been dead. Lucky Mad Dog. All right. 
This is one of the map markers I want to get because we're going to come back here later. But this is far enough for our sweep. Got plenty of supplies. I'm going to go back to Sanctuary. Because Red Rocket is so close, I'm going to do that real quick before I go to Sanctuary. <laughs> Hello, dog. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? It's everyone's I favorite four-legged friend. What happened to your owner? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Alright. Now there's gonna be a mole ride attack. Close this. Down to sneak mode. I know you found something. Ooh, what's on the terminal? Apparently, there's a cave beneath the station. We're going to check that out. There's also a part of me that wonders if there's any nasties down there. And will they pop up to attack us up here? Okay, dog meat. You need to get out of the way, buddy. Over there. So they just kind of pop up, do they? Yeah, come on out from behind that brick. Let's see how many we can hit with one round of bats. All right. That actually went really well. And thanks to disease and huge damage modifiers, I'm really glad that bats worked out right there. Saved me a ton of ammo. And I got a ton of meat. And I can tell already you're going to be a problem blocking my path. Like a real dog. So, we're going to go to Sanctuary. Sun's up. I have food. I have water. I'm at Codsworth. I'm at dog meat. I got supplies. I think I'm uh, good to survive at least my first few days. And I remember that Vault Tech guy. I think he had some other vaults on his uh, little clipboard when he came and talked to me pre-war. So I'm going to go see if I can find one. 
But before I do that, I'm gonna salvage this place. I'm gonna see what I can do with this pistol and see if I can improve my armor a little bit. And uh, I won't make y'all sit here and watch me do that. I'll do that off camera and we'll come back. We'll pick up uh, when I'm ready to hit the road. Does that sound like a plan, dog meat? What do you hey. think, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy, you know any tricks? Think that's a good idea? Okay, I thought you would. All right. I will pause the video here. I'll be back in a little while. I'll have uh, some things cleaned up, consolidated, and ready to go. Okay. I scrapped and salvaged the majority of Sanctuary. Uh, I went into the survivalist's bunker down there and salvaged everything in that. Uh, moved all the workbenches over here, got rid of the power armor workbench, and upgraded my pistol and my armor. I managed to scrounge together some leather armor. So I got this one uh, leaded. Can't remember if it's shadowed or not. I don't think I had enough to make it shadowed. Did I? No. No, that looks normal. But I also got a formal hat, which gives me nine charisma. And I have uh, some things in my inventory that I'm going to sell when I come across some merchants. So when I meet, I'm going to go around the back way over to Abernathy Farm, past that, and go meet Carla, and hopefully pick up some stuff. In the meantime, I uh, also moved a couple trees around to distribute those into Sanctuary, make it look a little nicer. Dogmeat's got a little doghouse under the shade. He'll be safe here, so it's time to hit the road. All right, Codsworth, keep the place clean. If I ever find some settlers to send over this way, uh, I'll get them to work with you to build the old house up, turn it into a nice place. But for now, that dog's got some work to do. Uh, so I've already been over to the Red Rocket. Can't think of anything that way that they need to do, so we're going to go this way. Uh, Eleonora's armor gives me a little extra action points and a little extra carry weight. I have a backpack that has 50 carry weight on it. Needs my inventory. My total carry weight's up to about 215. So, yeah, my backpack, my jumpsuit, and I forgot to rename that. Nah, I'll do it next time. Anyway, make a save here. And let's head up this road. Cars floating a bit. Oh, Bethesda. It's easier to see at night, but there's a little bit of a lamp lit uh, chair up here with these markings. We'll find out what those markings mean later, but I will definitely scoop up the water. And if you sit in this sheltered chair, you're kind of looking down over the vault. It makes me wonder who might have been watching me. Hmm. Alright, back down to this dirt road. Now, there are mole rats over here. not fall off the tree because there's at least another two. Ah, he got away. But he is headed this way. That dust trail shows me he's coming over here. Come on. Show your face, you little bugger, so I can shoot you in it.
Yep. He's either gone away. Or... He got stuck on something, so... I'll just pick up this meat. Is he around here anywhere? Nope. Well. Quick save just in case. And now let's go up this way and see what we can see. There's a little mini camp. A random spawn location which looks like has a refrigerator. Before I go over there, sometimes I get a crash here. So I'm just going to purge the cell buffer. And hopefully that'll keep things smooth. Something is detecting the hell out of me. Is it that raider? Maybe. We got some chems. And we're going to. Loot this chest. Alright, somebody spotted me. Who is it? Nothing to see here but a refrigerator in the middle of a field. That I may or may not be picking. Nice. Alright. Where is he? What the fuck was that? Uh oh, somebody spotted me. Rookie, now it's on. Catch a bullet, jeez. Where's the dog? I know that dog's around here somewhere. There you are. Couple hits, missed a couple, but oh, that's maybe this is where that last mole rat went. Might have aggroed on them. Okay, but we've merged victorious. Uh, Raider armor's crap. I'll take the road leathers for the leather. Uh, caps ammo. Leathers. There's a guy that I popped over here somewhere, too. There he is. I'd put the raider armor. Raider armor's garbage. Uh, meat. Meat. Bottle. Bottles are worth picking up. Uh, and they're also worth buying from merchants because they only cost like four or five caps. But you fill them with water. Oh, I'm really glad I killed her. That Molotov probably would have got me. Leather armor for the leg. Awesome. All right, I'm putting that on. But uh, they're only worth, uh, they only cost a couple of caps to buy. But you fill them and you can sell them for between 20 and 30 caps. So there's a like almost an 8 to 1, sometimes 10 to 1 return on investment for filling up bottles with water. Right. Come up here and just... Are we hidden? Yes, okay. 
works usually. Really? Really? Art and art? Uh, I don't know if I can kill him. This early in the game. He's got a double barrel shotgun at close range. Let's see if we can get the deer first because that's meat. And maybe I'll save scum the art encounter. And if I fail, I'll just load it. Hello, dear. Oh, the hides are good for leather. The meat's good for eating. And yeah, they're up here by this random spawn location. This random spawn location is worth checking out too because help. there's shit this tons of bottles up gonna here. Kill me. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth and he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God, my kids. Don't you dare bring them up. He's the synth and he wants to replace me. Please, please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Hmm. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill him. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. How exactly did this happen? How this, uh, fine. I, I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy. Me. Gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's, uh, it's a blur. We scuffled for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you. He's the synth. Now, are you going to get out of my way? Hmm. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get him to put the gun down. All right. All right. I'm putting the gun away. Oh, thank God. Now I just have to dig two graves. Yeah? Knew it. Yep. Hey there. Christ. God, I'm still shaking. You okay, Art? Thank you. Again. You're welcome. I have a feeling I'm gonna be seeing you both of you again. <laughs> Alright, but Synth component and scavenger's out. Okay, that was that was kind of worth it. I'm gonna quick save before I screw up. All right, let's go over here. There's some stuff I can scrounge. I forget what bone cutters have in them. Aluminum, copper, gears, and platinum. Yeah, there's some decent stuff in that, so it's worth carrying. I really don't want to aggro those bloat flies just yet. Duct tape, definitely take the duct tape. Alright, I'm gonna go over this way the long way. And try and get an angle on that fly. Yeah, there you are. I'm sick of eating bug. I'm not here to collect the meat. I'm just here for the XP. And to use the cooking station down here. To cook some of the meat that I picked up. Oh, ragstag, yes.
when you exceed your carrying weight, Radstag gives you plus 25, so it's worth carrying a couple slabs of that. Now, I will come back here and investigate this ranger cabin later with Curie, because if I'm lucky, she'll have some unique dialogue for it. Back up here where Art and Art were, look for those bottles that I wanted to collect. This must be where all the kids are hanging out these days. Alright, I think that's it. There's a couple dogs over this way. zigzag a bit, but there's certain angles on enemies that are worth worth attacking from, and there's a couple bloat flies up there, and coming up the cliff is not the best way to do it because you can't really see them. But I'm going to clear this place out. Alright. Okay. I'm just going to get the map marker. Alright, she's over there. Lucy, ain't you done today's wash yet? No, Mom, I haven't got around to it yet. I'm too busy doing the other 50 things you keep telling me to do. You watch your mouth or you're staying home the next time your father goes to Diamond City. Well, I'm trying to get everything done, but the wash takes forever. Enough griping. Mm, just get looks on with like your a work. little argument going on between the ladies there. I'm just gonna go over around this way because I don't want to aggro him. I'm just gonna pick some potatoes. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna help myself to your delicious fresh produce. like all of them. Okay. That's not the person I want to talk to. I want the daughter. Because she'll give me money for the melons I just picked. That's the father. Where'd the daughter go? Where'd the daughter go? That's Connie. That's Blake. Did she go around the other side? I bet she did. Before I forget, we're going to pay our respects. I will come back to Abernathy Farm with Curie as well. I just want to talk to you. I'll go ahead and make a save here. It's been a while. Yep, that was the cat. Hey. Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. Caps, you say? Yeah, like bottle caps? And because it's money? Uh, at least it is here in the Commonwealth. Oh, so bottle caps are currency. That old stuff? Not too useful these days. Unless you're looking to stock up your outhouse. Oh, you must be talking about pre-war money. All right, so how many caps are we talking about? Three caps per melon. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Mm, you live on a farm. I think you can do better than three. Deal. But let's keep it between the two of us. The last thing I want is another lecture from my mom. 
Okay. Miss Abernathy. Here to collect the caps for the melons you gathered? Yes, I am. Great. Thanks for your help. I'll get around to it. Boom. 45 bottle caps for picking melons. And I got a bunch of potatoes. Which I can combine with corn and mutt fruit to make adhesive. Alright, so there's a bloat fly there. And there's another one over there, so. Love having the silencer on that pistol. Alright. There's the stuff. And we have already been down to Red Rocket. We got the dog. I'll come back there later and that'll be... That'll probably be my main home on this side of town. But, let's head back over this way. Just south of the water tower is this partially buried chest, which usually has cool stuff in it. A boiled leather chest piece. Alright, cool. So now, I kind of wish that was a right leg. But I'll take it. A bane and a heavy pistol. Nah. nah. Alright, so. Back over to Abernathy's. Just left playing at, Ab at Abernathy Koiki. And we'll head this way toward this rocky outcropping. And we'll start sneaking just before we get here because we're just going to radar armor. We're just going to clear this out, and then there's more deer here. Which in survival mode, meat. It's important. That one deer's kind of nervous. Oh, I guess I got him in one shot. Yep. More meat and leather. Yes. You're stuck in there. Okay. Did you, uh... Were you trying to climb that and did you fall? More leather armor, raider armor, raider armor, rude leathers. Okay, that's lots of leather. Ammo. Okay. Head over this way toward the road. There's a safe. With some ammo. All right. When you have NPCs travel installed, it's a good idea to check the roads before you just walk out into them. Because on occasion you find somebody, but I think that's Art. Yeah, that's Art. Alright. He's walking along the road again. But at the road near this bus, there's a little dip. In this dip, there's a uh, drainage culvert and a bit of a stream, and if you follow this dry stream bed down this away, it's easier to see at night because you can spot the glow from a distance, but you'll notice there's a bit of a campground over here. And in this campground is some good loot. There's usually some form of adhesive in that container, a couple empty bottles and some chems. All of which are just awesome to have. Yep, I'm just over 200 pounds carry weight, so I'm just about at capacity. Just in time to meet Carla. Alright, gonna make a save here. And talk to Carla. Hi Carla. Hey so what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City. I'd kind of like to know where Diamond City is. 
not necessarily opposed to trading, but uh, yeah, did you huh? said something about Diamond City? <gasps> oh shit! What just happened? Random dog spawn. Sorry, should have just run. <clears throat> Thanks for saving me, friend. Take this. It's all I got. So you were running from the dogs and you drug them over here and nearly got me killed while I'm trading. All right. Just, uh, rules of the wasteland, I suppose. All right, so there's a dead dog over here. There's, I think there's another one. I shot at least three. This one's still trying to run. I am a spatula con. Uh, yeah, all right. So, I don't know where your iBot went, Carla. Where, where did it go? Did it disappear? You probably bug it off. All right. <coughs> I'm sorry, you were saying something about Diamond Rob City? Me, or just ask directions to Diamond City. Yeah, you said something about Diamond City before we were so rudely interrupted by the dogs. Dog directions. Hmm, figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the Great Green Jewel just inside the city limits. Okay. So. Oh, all right. It does not add the map marker, but it's around here somewhere. And there's Ellie's shop. We have to go to Ellie's shop eventually. All right. Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Yes. Let's trade. Well, you break it, you buy it. There we go. Nice even trade. I'll sell you some crap in Sanctuary and make a profit. I'm really surprised that that dog didn't, uh, didn't do more damage. But I want to come up here and explore. There's usually a few things in the containers. Coffee. Oh, coffee this cups. This one. Let's do this. And it looks like there's another ambush. I'm going to read this note first, though, and then I'll snipe them for Carla. Uh, damn raider ambush at Olivia. At Olivia? So that doesn't sound like it's a person. That sounds like it's a place. Weird. Okay, I don't need to remember that. Had to bail. No idea if the SMG is still there. An SMG then, huh? And I'm in no condition to try and find out. Not yet, anyway. At least there's a little good news. I requested a custom barrel for it, and she agreed. Said it was made with some pre-war alloy she was researching. The only catch is those Brotherhood types wanted to confiscate it as prohibited technology. But we managed to work out a deal with them. They were already heading to the Commonwealth, so they agreed to fly it in and transfer it to a local courier for us. In exchange, they get a copy of the metallurgy data and permission to test fire up to 500 rounds. Not sure how I feel about someone else getting to use what I paid for, but at least it should arrive safe. Going to pick up some chems and gear at a nearby trading post. Then heading back to the city for a proper dock. Need to meet the courier for pickup at the Mass Pike Metro entrance by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, so that looks like a rendezvous point. Then I'm going to get my gun back. So... Uh, God, what I give for a portable auto dock right now. Sounds like this person is going to meet a dealer for a transfer on a mod at Mass Pike. But that there was also an ambush at Olivia. And that the SMG might still be there. So I wonder, I should definitely check that out when I get up that way wherever a little is. Alright. Good luck, Carla. Safe travels. Save that. Uh, 
Uh, let's head over this way. There's not anything else coming down the road, I hope, because now would be a really bad time. I've leveled up. Oh, okay. Long Johns. All right. What's my carry weight at now? All right, it's down to 160, and there's another merchant over here. Okay. You have... Lots of stuff. All right. I think there was one other person over here. Got that guy. This is here. He is. Welding goggles, long johns. I wonder if I put those welding goggles on. Do they give me. Yeah, they give me plus one perception. All right. I look like freaking Inspector Gadget. But they'll do. Take the perception boost. Okay, right here is Drumlin Diner. Make a save. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now, don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Hmm. All right. Something's going on here. I should investigate after I pick up the dusk fan. And this aluminum can. And this tin can. And this chair. That one's for red. All right. Let's go up here and talk to these whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Vault Boy. This doesn't involve Vault you. Boy. You have no idea how much I want to save Scum and just shoot you in the head right now, but uh, I'm, I'm going to be good. What's going on? It's a simple business dispute. Got it? Trudy sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I got to take what's mine by force. Want to make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Making money, huh? Alright. Does this mean I get paid? Yeah. Alright. I was going to pay you 100 caps, but why don't we make it 125? I think you could do better than that. Okay, okay. 150 caps. My charisma of nine and Inspector Gadget goggles have me believing you can do even better than that. I'll make it 200 caps, but that's it. Any higher and I might as well go home. Yes. All right. I'll go talk to her. I'll appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. All right. Oh, Trudy. Excuse me. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, if your son owes him money, you should square up. This will end peacefully. And who knows, if he's a chem dealer, maybe he's even got something that can get your kid off the chems. Look. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't going to sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money. But I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. She is not happy. This is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. All right, I will do that right after I get my money from this guy. Hi. We get paid, and I don't even got to shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now, how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Yeah, sure. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got needs. I got product. All right. He just has a dick doll. He doesn't have any more antibiotics, which is what I really could use. That, by the way, is the Camping Adventures book that you find in the Survivalist Bunker and Sanctuary. This is Fading Signals Camping Mod. And with that in your inventory, you can make all kinds of cool stuff like the cooking pot, fire kit, folding chair, lantern, the pole tent and stuff. But anyway, let's see. Eight. I've got two Addictol and some antibiotics. I really don't need anything else from him. I probably won't be buying much from him anyway. I just wanted the XP. All right. Trudy, let's trade. Uh -huh. We're open for business again. 
a little lighter in the pocket thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? You're part cat. You're about to knock that coffee cup off the countertop. But yeah. Uh, yep, yep, there you go. Yeah, let's uh, let's trade. See what you got. A little bit of everything. Can I call it junk? Alright. Alright, we'll do that. There we go. Fairly even trade. I don't really need anything. I can always come back to you. What's my carry weight? Mm, my carry weight's still kind of high. I don't know. Maybe I should sell more stuff to her. Eh. Eh, we'll see. Uh, before I go back to Sanctuary to unload all my extra crap onto Carla, I'm just going to check out a few things here. Cigarettes are good for asbestos. No food in there. Empty bottle. New Coca Colas. And that little house over there and this concrete bunker on the other side of that tree is where I want to go. But before I do that, there's some bugs here that I need to deal with. over there? Nope. Sorry, Eddie's brother. The military grade circuit boards are awesome. I'll come in here and I'm gonna get the ammo and the reason we're here is for that thing. One of the mods on the mod list is uh, Doom's um, combined gun mods, and he has several classic Fallout 1, 2, and 3 weapons. That's an FNFAL. Uh, he also has a 223 pistol and several others, and that is worth getting. I don't have any 5mm ammo, although we all know where we can get 5mm ammo from early in the game, pre war old school up on the roof. But I'm just going to pick up that rifle because having that would rock. Even if I don't use it until later. Oh, I've leveled up. I should pick a perk after a hack. Alright, there's another one. There's another one. I like to get rid of all the duds, even though some of these will probably reset my, my guesses. I'd rather remove as many duds as possible because sometimes you can eliminate so many of them that it's down to just a few words. So we got pool, tear, kind, ode, and belt. Nothing, so... Oh, Tear has one likeness. Is it belt I'm through? Yes. All right. Power relay coil. What's the power relay coil? That's copper and steel. Don't need it. But thank you. I will take that. And, of course, I'm carrying too much. All right, so. Inventory. Where's my grilled rad stag? All right. Carry weight's up to 240. I'm going to go hit this house. See what's there. And then I'm going to go back to Sanctuary. Aha. Doggities.
Next. Raider crap. Sorry, Raider lady, but you're dead. You don't care if you're naked. All right, so I am gonna fast travel back to Sanctuary and merge a bunch of stuff at Carla, get rid of excess junk at Sanctuary. Probably take all of Carla's caps and then we'll come back here at Drumlin Diner. And we'll continue our way south in our next episode. But I think that's going to do it for now. This was a good first start to the game. We're making good progress. And we'll be picking up here next time on our way to Vault 81. Inspector Gadget style. Yeah, i got to get rid of those and get me some regular glasses. Glasses that would look way better. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.